Over the last few years, we have seen an increasingly uh, importance, uh, an increasing interest, actually, about the role of the endothelium uh, in uh, different transplant-related uh, complications. And actually, uh, it looks like that many of these relatively early complications like engraftment syndrome, capillary leak syndrome, uh, TMA, uh, but also VOD uh, or uh, diffuse uh, alveolar hemorrhage are closely linked to endothelial dysfunction. So at some point one can talk rather about endothelium related complications uh, post transplantation. And obviously, there are several factors that can contribute uh, into the endothelial dysfunction. Uh, the uh, conditioning regimen, uh, the chemotherapy, radiotherapy, the cytokines we use, especially gross factors, but also immunosuppressive agents like calcineurin inhibitors are definitely key factors contributing to the endothelial uh, injury. When you have a systemic reaction, you end up with complications like engraftment syndrome or uh, TMA or capillary leak syndrome. And if the dysfunction is more focused on one organ, let's say the liver, this is VOD, veno-occlusive uh, disease, or in the lung uh, with the uh, diffuse alveolar uh, hemorrhage. So how to take it from there? Actually, this is where drugs that can protect the endothelium can help to repair, I would say, the damage, can be useful. And the biggest uh, success we have seen over the last 10 years or so is with the use of defibrotide, for instance, uh, in uh, the uh, treatment of severe veno-occlusive disease, but also we have accumulating evidence in the prophylaxis. However, uh, the field is rapidly moving. There are many uh, drugs being uh, tested, and for instance, uh, targeting the complement is being investigated uh, actively. There are also some new uh, antibodies, like you know, antibodies targeting the MASP2, which hopefully will arrive at some point and can be very helpful because, in general, these endothelium-related complications uh, can severely and seriously impact the outcome of the patient post-transplant and uh, obviously uh, all of these uh, uh, new developments in terms of drugs targeting the endothelium and uh, attempting to restore a sort of a homeostasis are very, very welcome.